All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Game Galaxy Zone. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record Fate Grand Order from your phone to your computer. And along with this, I'm going to be showing you how to do it for both Apple and Android. I'm also going to be showing you how you can play back your audio so that way you can hear it from your phone to your headset. And I'm also going to basically be explaining that you can use this for, of course, capturing for both recording and screen and uh, streaming as well. So I, <laughs> I've tried to make this video probably like 15 times. And the reason I never uploaded it is because it's typically too long. It's also typically really not great explanate, explanate, explained. So I have to try to redo it multiple times and this is going to be the one so there's going to be a few things you're going to need so I don't have an iPhone I hate iPhone I really don't like Apple products but I will show you how to funny enough this is actually one right here but regardless <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to do it uh, with Apple variations and it's very simple compared to Android stuff so what you see in front of you is everything that you're going to need for an Android device of course you're going to need two HDMI cables. Doesn't matter what they are, you just need two HDMI cables. You're going to need a adapter, which I'll go into what this adapter is specifically in a moment. Uh, preferably, you're going to want a Game Capture HD or HD Pro or HD60 from Elgato. Uh, this is the first lineup one, so this is the one that still has the AV ports on it. Uh, it should work with all newer based ones. I highly recommend this one because I have tried with other things. Example, this is the LGX Extreme. This is another graphics card. I've tried it with this. I haven't done too much testing with it. Does not work. Okay, I have not been able to get FGO to load on a LGX game capture. I might have to do some more testing with it in the future, but as of making this video, which is on 12-8-2018, I don't think it works with this so other graphics or sorry I was just doing a video about graphics cards other stuff on game capture cards uh, they might work but I don't know I've only ever looked at it with the LGX and Elgato and Elgato will work so if you are doing the Apple version so if you have an Apple iPhone you are going to need the following you're gonna need one HDMI cord you're gonna need the Elgato game capture card you're going to need this adapter, which again I'll explain in a moment. Your phone, and that's it. This stuff, unimportant right now. Don't worry about this. So, this is a iHome adapter. And the reason that I didn't explain too much on it and why I have multiple screens up here is because I'm going to just search it. I bought this thing at um, Walmart for 40 bucks. Now, places vary on these things. You can see right here, I just found it from eBay. This is the same exact one that I have. This is a USB Type-C, keep this in mind for a moment, with HDMI port and USB along with a Type-C port on it. So, if you look at it from the side here, okay, sorry I'm not using my phone quality, but you've got an HDMI port and a Type-C port. And on this side, you've got the Type-C cable that comes off of it and a USB port. All right. So I highly recommend getting this one, but you can get any type of adapter. Uh, the reason I have this one is because this is the only one that worked with my phone that I could find for a short period of time. This part that comes off the end here, this is what connects to your phone. My phone is type C okay most phones nowadays are type C but you might have one that is different you might have one that looks like and as soon as I find it it might look like this okay if my camera focuses in on it see that you see those 
uh, like trapezoid looking shapes on it. See how type C is rounded and that one isn't. Okay, don't be confused by that. This is type C. This is a, I believe it's like a USB, maybe C variation. I don't know what this is called, but you'll definitely see the difference. It'll have little ends on it. Looks like a trapezoid, okay. Type C is completely round, looks like an oval. Make sure you know which one, what type of adapter you're getting because if your phone has, older phones will mostly have that weird trapezoid shape. My old one did. And newer phones might have type C or Thunderbolt 3. So keep that in mind when trying to purchase a adapter. So you can get these things anywhere. I bought this from Walmart. They actually have them sitting in my campus store here on college as well. There's other variations like the Apple Lite Digital AV adapter and other stuff like that. These I think also will work. The reason I recommend getting the Apple version is because not only does this work with Android devices, but it also works compatible with Apple. And I know Apple is retarded about using third-party devices, so there you go. You're welcome. Um, but on top of that, it's also very durable and great because it is made by Apple and you don't have to worry about uh, running into any problems. So this thing is basically the reason of how you're going to get to doing FGO content. So if you're using an Apple device, this is pretty simple. So basically, you're going to plug this into your phone. So it'll look like that. Make sure your game capture is hooked up and then plugged in. So for example, I'd load up my Elgato on screen right now, but I can't because of course it I'm using OBS, so it'll be like, hey, you're duplicating this and having problems and whatnot. So you can either pull up OBS and load into the Elgato software that's on there, or you can load up just the Elgato software and go from there. But basically, you plug that in, take your HDMI and plug it into the adapter. And then you plug that, of course, into HDMI import, not output, on the Elgato. And that's the setup of how this works. If you're using Apple, all right, this is not an Android setup. If you try to do this for Android, it won't work. You'll get a blue screen. Reason you get a blue screen, HTCP. Stupid. It's really dumb. Android needs to fix that problem. So if any person that's over at Android listening to this, get rid of it. It's dumb, okay? We live in 2018 where copyright bullshit shouldn't exist. Sorry, but I have to point that out. Looking at you, YouTube. Regardless, all you have to do in the software side is basically, and I'll try to pull this up hopefully. So we'll slide this over here, try to make this a little bit bigger. Might crop this up so you guys can see it a little bit. But you'll see here that this is the wrong thing. I need this window. Yes. So, if you load a screen for the Elgato, it will look something like this, hopefully, when it starts. You'll see no signal. All right, if you've hit no signal on the OBS situation, you're pretty much good. If it says anything else, prepare to cry because Elgato is being an idiot and not loading correctly. So, in the properties for Elgato, Okay, I'm going to make this a little smaller right now. I'll pull this stuff up so you guys can see it. It's this. There we go. All right, so this is OBS. Obviously, I've got a looping screen because it's capturing the screen at the moment. So in your sources area, you're going to come down here. You're going to right-click. You're going to hit Add, and you're going to find a video capture device. Now, I already have it in here, and without causing too many problems, you're just going to name... Elgato, or if you already have it, then you're good to go. Click OK, and it should pop up down here, whatever you named. It'll probably be activated right away, so you'll probably start seeing the whole no signal sign thing. So what you're going to do is after that, you're going to right-click on Elgato. You're going to hit Properties, and you're going to come up with this screen. Okay, this is the, this is the big thing. So in here, you're going to come down to configure video 
And if you click it and this pops up, but it doesn't actually pop up like this, you're going to have to click on it. You're going to set it, all of this stuff to here. However, if you're using an Apple device, you can actually select iPhone slash iPad touch. You can also hit iPad. However, if you're, you can also just hit other and this will work perfectly fine as well for both. So you hit other, you hit HDMI, standard inputs, HDI 1080p, allows 60 frames a second. You can do whatever else you need to. And then you click done and bam, you're all good to go. However, you're not exactly all good to go. You still have a few things to do. Down here on resolution FPS type, make sure that this is set to default device. If you're setting it to custom, it's not particularly great. I have it set up just like this and it works fine. However, if it's coming up with weird resolutions, you can click custom, but I know that if you set the resolution type in here, sometimes the image just won't show up at all. So just keep an eye on that. But as long as you input everything correctly and you hit the no signal stuff, it should pop up and you should be fine. So this is a little confusing because you're not seeing anything at the moment. Um, but I'll get into exactly how this looks like. So that's for Apple. Really easy, really simple. Done. Okay. You guys have it easy. Using an Android device. Ho oh, ho. Now you get into the stupid stuff. So we're going to come back over here to this screen. I'm going to unplug all of this. So if you're using an Android device, a little bit extra stuff you got to do. So you guys not only need to buy a game capture card, and the adapter. You're also going to need one of these babies. It is a splitter. All right. You might have heard of a switcher. Don't buy a switcher. Uh, switchers do not work for this. You need a splitter. And out of everything that I've come across from multiple sources, this particular splitter is the one that you're going to want. Hey, camera. There you go. This is an REI HDMI splitter 1 to 2. There you go. That took like 20 minutes just to get that to load in. So this is an REI HDMI splitter 1 by 2 HD 102. So the HD 102 is the version type I'm using. I believe these things go up to HD 104. Um, so the reason I have an older one is because that was the one I purchased and it's perfectly fine to do. I've heard that Different, ver different versions of this might not work, but they should be fine. So if you're interested, you can find these things. I bought this on Amazon for about 17 bucks. Uh, I've actually seen these things at a Radio Shack, if one still exists for you. Luckily, there's one not far from where I live. Uh, however, they're very expensive there. I think it was version 1.4, and it was around 40 bucks. But basically, this is all you need. Now, you can use other splitters. But I'm going to warn you that I've heard that other splitters might not do the correct thing that you need to do. The reason I'm saying that is because the only reason you need this is because you need to strip the HDCP protection that's on the Android device. Basically, it's like an anti-piracy kind of program built into the phone. So if you tried to use your Android device and set it up the same way as an Apple device that I just showed, you're going to get a blue screen. That blue screen is HDCP protection. You can't disable that. You can strip it, which is what this thing is for. So basically, you're going to run the device through here. It's going to rip that out, and then it's going to replace it back out into Elgato, so that way you can actually see the screen. So how does this fit in? So basically, it works the same way. You plug your adapter in your phone. You plug the HDMI cable into that adapter. And then you're going to plug it into the input that's on the side of this thing. This also has its own external power, so you're going to have to plug it in in an outlet somewhere, unfortunately. I'll actually plug it in right now so you guys can see what's going on, and I'm going to need to anyway. So it lit up, you can see it's on as compared to this light. So then you're going to need second HDMI cable and that's going to go into one of the two outports that are labeled on here you've got outport 1 and outport 2 I might have said that backwards yeah 1 2 put it into 1 
the only reason I say that is because it probably doesn't matter which one you throw it into, but if you're going to, you know, do numbers and labels and stuff, you might as well do it in an ordered list. Then plug that into the HDMI on the Elgato. So you're basically taking one extra step. Okay? So, you get everything plugged in, and now you have to go into Elgato and change all your settings and whatnot. At least you think. You don't actually have to do anything different if you just set up everything beforehand. So, come back over here. We'll go back into Elgato. Hit Properties. And as you can see, there's nothing happening at the said second. Don't worry about that. Keep everything the exact same as what it was, and you should pretty much be good to go. So, here's how this works. So I'm going to turn this camera back on, and then I'm going to bring Elgato up. So, at the moment, you see my screen is on like a normal display kind of lock screen situation. So I'm going to unplug this. I should recommend that it's not great to keep your phone plugged into the adapter when all this is coming up. So this just changed to one moment, please. If you see Elgato saying one moment, please, do not ever plug in your phone to the adapter with everything on. You will experience a painful problem of never being able to load the game on screen because Elgato just goes full retard. Okay? Make sure that you always see the no signal screen and you should be great. Might take you a few minutes to get to that screen, but always do it because, trust me, I've had to literally restart my streams on the night of a gotcha roll for 40 minutes because Elgato could not realize that it needed to detect my phone. So, just be aware of that. So, Hit no signal screen, you've got everything plugged in, then plug the adapter into your phone. And the way you know that this works for me is that it turns on and it'll say connected to secondary screen. Okay, so you can see my phone's on at the moment. Oh, look at that, look at that, boom. So Elgato lags behind a little bit, which I hate this functionality of Elgato. I don't know if there's a way to not get it to do that, but you can see here, and if I move my phone, moves on screen, and you got everything going on. Cool, right? This is typically the hardest thing to try and get to do when you're first setting this up because it literally makes no sense. Because, like I said, you'll get stuck with the Elgato screen not working and doing what it needs to do. Regardless, it's very simple. This is actually a very cheap process. Like, if you already own a game capture card, that's great. If you already own a phone, that's also great. But, you know, if you if you didn't have these two things, the adapter and the splitter, then, I mean, it's not terribly expensive. You're looking at maybe 50 bucks, maybe less now. Who knows? So, one last big thing, okay, is, like I said, make sure that when you're in the property screen of this, that you have everything set up the exact same way. However, if you're using Android device, Set it to other, because I don't think the iPhone slash iPad versions will work with this. And it's just a lot easier to do, because it doesn't come up with problems. Secondly, you're going to note that you might run into audio problems, but all the audio currently is going from your phone to Elgato. Okay? It's also going to this adapter. So funny enough you can plug headphones into this USB port on the adapter and listen to the audio that's coming into here. Problem is, is that if you're recording, it's not picking up on that. So, the other reason that this adapter is interesting is that, remember the other port that's on this side, the other Type-C? You might have been wondering for the longest time, how am I supposed to charge my phone if it's plugged in? Well, Luckily, this other port is special enough to allow you to plug in your adapter to it. Like so. And you'll see it pop up on my screen there in a second. Hopefully. Might not be. There we go. Now it's fully plugged in. Look at that. Charging. Cool. Can't see it. 
for some reason. That's weird. It's partially cut off. It's probably cut off because I have this scaled resolution for fake grand order, but it's charging. I might actually be able to turn it off for a moment. Yep, there you go. Little charging symbol at the top there. So, really easy, really simple. Now, coming down to the audio portion, how do you get your audio to run into from FGO so that not only you can hear it, but your stream or recording can hear it. So the way to do this is in OBS, you're going to find your Elgato under the mixer source. OK, let me actually try that again so that way everyone can see what the heck's going on. So in order to get the audio to go into Elgato, the thing that you need to do is go down into the mixer settings down here under Elgato, click it, hit Advanced Audio Profile, find Elgato, or the capture card you're using, and hit Monitor and Output under this audio monitoring. Then click Close, and then come over to Settings for OBS. Click on that, and you're going to want to go down to Audio. Make sure that you have this stuff set up correctly. You're also going to want to find Advanced and you're going to want to hit your audio device, okay? This is going to be where you're hearing it from. So make sure you disable Windows Audio's docking, or ducking, whatever it is. And then click on this and set this to whatever your headphones are. Now, this is set to my mixer board, which is this thing over here. That. So, basically, you're going to want to click on the speakers that you have installed. So I have, these set up, I have my headphones set up to a mixer board, so it's actually the mixer board. Well, you just find whatever your headphone names are, and then you're done. You should be good to go. You should be able to hear your audio. If you're not able to hear your audio then you might have to pull this stuff out and plug it back in again. If if you were already logged into Fate Grand Order and you plugged all this in, restart Fate Grand Order because what happens is, is that it tricks the system into realizing that music was being played and it kind of just overwrites itself. So it just kind of goes, oh, hey, yeah, stop doing that. So you have to go and reload the game and it should work fine. If it doesn't, then unplug everything, plug it all back in, should be good. So to give you an example of what's going on, I'll go ahead and click on FGO. I'm also going to switch out of the first monitor screen here. This is Elgato. So it's not going to look directly like this. You're going to have to change the resolution of the screen. You're also going to want to of course, filter it so that way it's cropped so you can see everything because sometimes it's cropped a little outwards and it shows more than you necessarily need to. But you're going to see here that you're hearing the sound right now. Now I don't hear it because I don't have my headphones on. But I'm going to throw back over to my first screen. You can see right here that Elgato, as long as this is showing up, you should be good. So if you don't see this, it potentially could be a few things. Number one, you had the game loaded, you plugged everything in, and it just glitched out, like I mentioned. It also might have just glitched out naturally, and you have to unplug it and replug everything back in. There's also a potential possibility that the audio on your phone is lowered. So, for example, I'm going to raise my audio and lower my audio. So now my I've raised it all the way off. Notice, El, notice on Elgato that it's completely quiet. Turn this back up. Now we've got audio again. Don't know why it functions like that. It really shouldn't, but it can do that. The other thing is, is that you might have Elgato's volume turned up or down. So just find like a good position of where it's going to be at. And lastly, of course, is the fact that you might have the audio quiet on Fake Grand Order. So 
the way to test this sometimes is that if you just go into your music player on your phone and turn that on, if you can hear that, then you know that obviously FGO just kind of derped with your phone. So, well, there you go. There's the game. You can see it right there. Right there. Boom. Ta-da! So yeah, that's really it. It's very simple to do. It's very easy to do. It's just a matter of that nobody had a lot of videos on this, and nobody explained the process of how to get the audio to work with this stuff. And to be fair, I hate asking YouTubers about this. Because they never f***ing respond to you. I hate that stuff. I, I am a very small YouTube channel with 100 subs. My Demon Souls video, I reply every person I've replied to on that has been like, man, thanks for being really fast replier. Cool. That's what people should be doing. If you guys are having situation problems with this, it's understandable. This video might be not 100% great at explaining stuff. Sorry that it might be a little long, but it's better to explain stuff in depth and a little bit more about it than just being like, get the shit, plug it in, here you go, have fun. And I hate when people do that and they have like five minute videos of just like them unboxing it and then plugging everything in without explaining how it works. And being like, yeah, this product's great for, you know, these people and maybe not so great for this. Make sure to like, rate, and subscribe and check out my hundred billion other videos. It's like, bruh. Regardless, this is how you do FGO streaming content and everything else. Downsides to this are it's, it's a little problematic. Number one, if I go back to my first monitor stuff here, you're probably hearing a double loop audio system right now because my desktop audio is on. For whatever reason, Elgato likes to double my audio through my desktop audio. So if I turn this off, okay, FGO sounds probably a lot better. Give it a second. And then if I turn it back on, it does this weird looping effect, sort of. So I don't know why it does that. That's about the only downside to this. Uh, but as long as you keep everything set up and do what you need to do, then you also get the situation of having really long battery. Now my phone lasts for, I've been able to stream FGO for about three hours, if not a little bit longer, and I've only ever lost maybe 10 to 15% battery while doing the setup. If you don't plug in your phone to charge while you're doing this, you're only going to have about three and a half hours to do a stream or recording because it eats your battery. I've gone from 90% to 15% in three hours and 30 minutes. So just keep that in mind. That could be problematic. But other than that, Everything's pretty cool. Now, if you're having problems with like Apple or anything or iOS, I can't really help you with that because I don't have a phone to do that with, nor will I probably ever show it. But you could probably also do this exact same setup if you wanted to using Apple phones, but it would be really retarded because you don't need an extra HDMI and a splitter to do it. But regardless, if you guys are having any problems with it, I can try and help you out as best as I can. No extreme guru, but I can hopefully lead you in the right direction as far as stuff goes. And I'm hoping that this video gets a little bit of attention because I guarantee you that many people have always been interested in how to record or stream Fake Grand Order without emulating the game. Or without having to run it over Wi-Fi. Because, let me tell you, I've tried running it over Wi-Fi and it lags so bad. Like, I don't know what magical program these people are using to stream over Wi-Fi, but... Wow. Either that or you have an internet speed of 100 billion megabytes a second upload. Regardless, that's that. That This is a hardwired version of how to stream FGO very easily, very simple. Hopefully it works out for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any problems, let me know. I'll try and help out. Sorry it's a little long, but best to get into all details. I'm just going to post it out the way it is. Hopefully everything is good. So... Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to see more interesting content such as FGO, go, hit, go check out those playlists. 
you want to see some Dark Souls memes, you can go check out that stuff. If you don't really don't care, have a nice day. So, thanks.